Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 13 on list functions. In the last tutorial, we have seen an introduction to lists. Now let us see the list functions. First, we will see the names of these functions and then we will see examples of these functions in Python. First, we have the len function. It returns a number of items in the list. The min function returns the smallest item in the list. The max function returns the largest item in the list. List.index of x returns the index of the item in the list whose value is x. Similarly, the count list function returns how many times x exists within the list. The insert list function adds the item x to the list at the index i. The append list function adds item x at the end of the list. Next we have the sort list function. It sorts the item within the list. The reverse function reverses the order of the items within the list. And we will see, soon see examples of these in Python. The remove list function removes the first item with the value of x. If no such value exists, it gives an error. The pop list function removes the last item of the list if no index is given. If the index i is given, then it removes the item at index i. The extend list function appends all items of another list, list1, to our list. The clear list function removes all items from the list. Now let us see these functions in action in Python. I already have created a script which will show a numeric list and we will see all these functions. So we have a list of sales. Let us say sales for customers and there are five items in this list. 100, 1, 5, 20 and 60. Now let me run this script. So here is our list and first the len function produces a len of 5 because len returns the number of items in the list. The min function gives us the smallest item in the list. So min of this list is 1 which is the smallest item. The max returns the largest item in this list which is 100. Now if we want what is sales.index20 it gives us the index of the item with value 20. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So the index is 3. Sales.count100 how many times 100 appears in the list so it gives us 1 sales.insert 1 comma 100 adds the item 100 to the list at index 1 so this is the index 0 we can see that at index 1 it has inserted 100 sales.append 1 adds an item to the end of the list so after 60 which was the last element it appends item 1 sales dot sort sorts the item within the list so now all the items are in ascending order 1 1 5 20 60 100 and 100 sales dot reverse reverses the order of the items in the list so now the items are in descending order sales dot remove 5 removes the first item with a value of 5 so now we can see earlier we had the value 5 here and now the value 5 is removed from the list. Sales.pop removes the last item in the list because no index is given. So the last one is now removed. Sales.extend we have given another list as an argument 10, 20 and 30. So this appends all item of the new list the existing list 
so we have items 10 20 and 30 at the end of our sales list sales dot clear removes all items from the list so now there are no items in the sales list now let us look at a nested list let me create a new list I'm going to name it D and it has a couple of items now if I append I can append another number or a string or even another list to it so I'm going to append a list to it D dot append and I'm going to give a list with two items in it so now D has three items one two and a list with two items 30 and 31 now let us say we want to find out the item 30 so we have to use indexing now because item 30 is within a member list we have to specify two indexes so d2 is for the item within the list and within the member list index 0 so this gives us 30 the first index is item within our list d and the second index is within the member list what is the index so in the member list 30 has the index 0 31 has the index 1 similarly if we write d2 1 this will give us 31 thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial